Tuesday today already the 11th of January and I'm doing half marathon practice walk the Auckland marathons on the 23rd of January I'm here in the beautiful Rolleston it's a nice flat track today to walk towards Templeton and Hornby on the outskirts of Christchurch for the way thanks Emma and Graham Danny for the accommodation last night one of the things I really enjoy in the mornings because you generally only smell it in the mornings and know it's not what you think is bakeries. The smell of fresh bread and fresh baking from a bakery. The only way you're gonna know is to get out and go for a walk early in the morning. <laughs> hey thanks Countdown, love the memory. Here at what was Rolleston Railway Station Many years ago, I know as a kid growing up, 80s and 90s, this was still a, an active stop. It was considered rural from Christchurch. And then unfortunately, a number of years into the late 90s, an accident occurred on one of the lines where a concrete truck turned into the rail passenger service. And I believe seven people lost their lives, including Chris Keynes' sister at the time. At that stage, it was changed and I believe soon after this stopped operating. Fifty minutes in and four and a half k's down and I've been going in the wrong direction. Nah, just joking. Thankfully we're in the right direction. We've come from here, we're heading up there. Let's go Templeton and then Christchurch. Ten k's in. Welcome to Templeton, everybody. Let's tell you a few facts about Templeton. So Templeton is on the outskirts of Christchurch, and it was developed around 140 years ago. Ultimately, Templeton was a watering point for horses as they were going between Selwyn, the district of Selwyn, and Christchurch. Fascinating. Thought you'd like to know that. I'm here in Hornby, almost three hours, 16 k's down. Hornby's on the outskirt of Christchurch and this was my hometown. Welcome to Wigram. I am almost 18 kilometers down from Rolleston, heading that away into the city. This is a Harvard and when I was a boy, these Harvards would fly all around the sky. This was Wigram Air Force Base, which is no longer. 
and it's full of thousands of new homes out there now but they've kept this one and there is a museum it's well worth checking out if you're here then Wigram. Right I'm 20 kilometers down three hours 41 and I've made it to the suburb of Rickerton and I have two aunties left from my dad's side in the world and uh, one, of the, one of them is Auntie Eileen she lives on this street she doesn't know I'm coming we'll knock on her door see if she's home if so we'll push pause and then we'll carry on afterwards we'll have a cup of tea <laughs> She's not got a wine, but she'll have a wine yeah. later. Lemonade, lemonade. <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, so we're 23 kilometers in. I'm on Rickerton Road, not far from Hackney Park. Wow. 4 hours, 33 minutes, 25 kilometers, I'm here in the great Hagley Park. Well, here I am in Christchurch, 27 kilometers later. And it took 5 hours and 3 minutes. We're here at the River Avon right next to the memorial wall for Christchurch earthquake. Well, I've finished day two of my travelling walking tour for the week here in Cathedral Square as the cathedral has sort of been semi-demolished and then repaired. Otherwise, right over the road here, the convention centre, I believe, is very close to opening. It's a beautiful building, so the city is uh, shaping up. Be motivated, get out there and walk. Good for your mental health, good for your physical health. Thank you, and let's keep walking with Steve.